Hi everyone. With the last video that I posted, um, Leria comment or gave me a comment. It was a nice comment, but she also asked if I could um, explain um, how to um, do some hair in Photoshop. So um, that's what we're going to do. This is for you, Leria. And um, please, if any of you um, enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Okay, so um, there's several ways of um, doing hair. We've got hair strand. We can um, use brushes. We can um, <laughs> find pictures of hair strands and, and use those, or we can paint it themselves. So I'm going to do it the simple way, using a mouse. So you don't need a tablet or anything to to, to do these um, the editing that I'm going to show you here. Um, first off, I'm going to show you. Um, how to use the uh, the path tool, the pen tool, to um, draw hair strands. So let me go to a white white box. All right. So first off, we need a we need a hairbrush. Now these are all available from DeviantArt, but I'm going to show you this one here. So this brush here. If I make it large and paint, you can see it is. It's just four dots. Alright, so on its own layer, that's what we're going to use to paint this hair. So, um, first things first, we need to make the hair strands to the size that you want. So, just for example's sake, I'm going to put this down to about 30. Alright, and with the pen tool, I'm going to click, click and then draw on that to curve it then I'm going to right click stroke path and I want to simulate pressure all right backspace key and there's the hair strand you can move it around you can warp it Alright, so just briefly again, you choose your brush size first, so I've got it at 30, get your pen tool, draw a curve, I'll make that one longer, right click and stroke the path, simulate pressure. Alright, so you can see that simulating pressure so w when you're drawing you might need to um, cut off one end but anyway we'll get to a practical example of how we can do this so um, where you might want to use it is on a picture like this um, <coughs> let me start by all right so I'll just quickly remove her from the background if you want to know how to remove a subject using green screen, I have a video, I'll put a link below, it's a three minute video, it shows you how to remove somebody from a green screen with a clipping mask, but I'm not going to bother with the clipping mask here, it's going to show you how I might draw some hair strands with the, with the pen tool. Alright, so the brush, We want to get the size that we want. We want to sort of mix it in with the size of the image. So I think probably about 20. We'll start off with 20. I want to match the colour in her hair. I'm going to get the pen tool, put a layer above, and I'm going to draw a strand across her face. right click and stroke the path simulating pressure okay All right. 
so now I can transform in this control T and I can have that strand falling down and across her face I just put a layer mask on there alright so I just want to do this quickly and just show you how, how it can be done alright so obviously you could put that wherever you wanted you can put it over there so it's flying out the side of your hair you can copy it control J and double up you can re copy it again and then resize it Okay, so you might want to add some highlights into some, some of the places here. So another way you could do it is you could uh, use use this method is to get one of the something highlights. It's going to be almost white, but um, we'll zoom in and try to get something with a bit of pink in it. We can actually put some more highlights onto her forehead there, so stroke the path. All right, so we didn't use a brush there. Hold on, let me um, do that again. Bring it down to 20, get to our pen tool, right click and stroke path. Alright, so if I copy that a few times, you can see I'm adding a bit more, a few more highlights to if you wanted to add more extra highlights you could use it over the top of the hair like that you use you can make darker bits as well so that's one way of um, doing hair with the pen tool okay so the brush we use then is a brush that you would normally use with a something like a Wacom tablet and a pen I showed you there how you could use the pen tool to create strands of hair um, but there's other brushes as well. You can download brushes which are actually hair strands. So um, let me clear this out of the way. And I'll show you one of these. So um, I'll leave that pink the same there. But if we go to brush and I'll scroll down to where I've got some saved. Um, I'll try this one here. All right. All right. So there's a brush pack. Or the, I'll, I'll, I'll put some links um, below this video on where you can download some of these from. Um, I, I generally find this stuff at Deviant Art. There's people that have made these brushes and they share them there for, for everyone. So um, so you can you can make these brushes yourself if you wanted to. But um, we're not showing you how to make brushes today. We're showing you how to. Uh, do some simple hair. All right, so I'm going to resize this brush. I'm going to have, say, the wind blowing. Which I'll do this there like that. Just fit that in. All right, so we can do this a few times. Different sizes. We can rotate the brush if we come up to our brush menu. Where is it? Okay, so if you can't find your little brush menu here, if you come up to window, just tick that box there, brush, or we'll use the shortcut and the F5 button. Alright, so with this window here, I can change the angle of my brush. So I can put it 
put a few hair strands around the place and make it look like um, you know the wind's catching her hair so um, that's another way of using a brush alright so um, I'll turn this off and I'll show you the picture that I did alright so you can see the pictures uh, the hair there and um, end of my edit this is what I ended up with okay so um, that's two methods of doing hair in Photoshop simply with a mouse and in the next one I'm going to use some hair stocks all right so I downloaded these from DeviantArt let me turn this is just a PSD that I downloaded from there I'll put some a link to hello to where you can get it all right so they've got basically two types of hair here they've got some different colors but an image I use I used this and this and I did a bit of something just to match the colors a bit cl more closely but um, let me show you how I did this all right so um, I use it in this image here let me turn that off all right so as you can see I'm bold so the first thing I did was put a piece of hair that piece of hair is this one right here sorry and then just using the same piece of hair just resizing it and then I chose the other piece of hair which is this one right here and I just adjusted the color a little bit to match in a bit better I've used layer layer masks on these just to um, paint off my forehead there and as you can see I've just gone through and kept adding hair so underneath I've used the, the brown straight one and then on top I've done done that all right so just to show you what else I've done in this picture created a background a little wisp of smoke I painted myself the hair and I just kept going doing clipping masks so what I've done here is on this layer here I've painted with a smoke brush and then I've taken a copy of myself changed the size and made a clipping mask over that smoke brush and I've just gone through doing that so as you can see more clipping masks making myself appear out of the canvas So it's just clipping mask. I've done a color lookup and a stamp, and it's finished. So there you go, hair done simply. <laughs> um, if, if you like this, or if you want to maybe even have me spend a bit more time showing how I created these, this image and um, this one, like and comment below. Thank you very much.